Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 47 of Enterprise Tech India Unplug. I'm Deepak, and with us, we have Kumaran, who is the CTO and, uh, uh, and the chief mentor for Tiny Magic. And we have uh, an excellent guest uh, uh, for uh, our discussion today, who's a product manager at IBS. Welcome, Jiffin. Right. And we have Shiva and Nitin who want to listen into the call. If they want, they can join in. Both are from IBS. Uh, so let me start this, this discussion for all of you to think about. We, we always talk about we are providing a service or we are providing a product. Right now, this is this is a sort of ongoing uh, debate inside the software companies. Are we delivering a service or are we delivering a product? Right, and now there is a big movement of converting from uh, service orientation to product orientation. Right, so what we want to do is dive uh, uh, one step deeper into what this what this really means in practice. Right, for and, and who better than to ask a product manager uh, who who has who is living it right now? So, Jiffin, tell us what, what is what is your opinion about product versus service? And and first of all, tell us a little uh, little more about why uh, you think it is important for you to now be called as a product manager instead of maybe something else uh, which used to be uh, a service owner. Let's say <laughs> I don't know whether. Yeah. Are they equivalent, or they have? Is are, is the responsibility really changed in any respect? Uh, from a very high level perspective, there is no much change because everybody is doing the software. Software is nothing but uh, uh, bringing some uh, some uh, some capability to the end user, right? So they come and do something, and uh, they meet their uh, purpose. Uh, but I think. Uh, both service and product has its own importance uh, but uh, uh, yeah so I, I could say like service is <clears throat> more like i'm doing something specific to a particular person or particular client uh, i'm building a software for example i'm Deepak wants to run a store and Deepak has uh, uh, his personal choices flavors i want to be uh, given some x y z services so I understand uh, that requirement and convert in that into software. And the similar way, uh, later maybe uh, Kumaran would uh, start another store and uh, he wants to uh, have something similar, uh, similar application. And he would also um, come to me and ask for a software. And then that time, uh, my my intention would be like, why should I start from scratch? I already developed something to debug. Why can't I give that? Mm -hmm. uh, but that time, Kumaran would have his own um, kind of a tweaks or uh, deviations. Okay, because uh, whenever the client comes for a software, definitely he wants to be the future uh, product, right? Not not for something existing. So Kumaran might demand like, okay, uh, this software is used by debug. He's my competitor, and he's using this for last one year. Why should I just uh, compromise for that something? It's an old model, right? One year back model. Mm -hmm. So I don't need this. Or I want some additional flavors uh, on top of this. Okay. So then I go back to my team and say like, okay, uh, we have a new customer. He's ready to pay more, uh, but in a little fancy fee. Okay. So uh, team would be saying, okay, it's like a couple of fancy features. We'll have some tweaks. Then I will go for a workshop with Kumar and then I'll come up with a long list of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that time, uh, team would be saying, uh, see, this is a DMX uh, on, uh, online store. Mm -hmm. If you try to incorporate all these lists, it's going to be too many patterns. Mm -hmm. Then later point of time, uh, DMX will also come and ask for some additional features, right? So whenever we have multiple stores, uh, I think we cannot maintain this. So it's mm -hmm. better, we'll take copy of this and we'll do a uh, completely deviation. Mm -hmm. Or let, let this be an older version. Let's build a new version uh, or new, new software. Okay. So service is more like ensure all the requirements of the customer is met. Mm -hmm. There is no no to the customer requirement. Anything ask, any, any fancy, that's yes. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but uh, long run is challenge, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, now, obviously, as a product owner, my responsibility is to ensure that my product running long or serving more customers. Mm-hmm. which means i should have a single version or single base uh, with some flavoring uh, capability so that mm-hmm. i can uh, cater different people so basically uh, it's more like a, a business thought or a business kpi uh, less code uh, mm-hmm. more uh, more customers right so that's obviously that's a business uh, profit uh, uh, kpis Mm-hmm. so then we will think about uh, uh, the product angle how i can uh, build something that can be given to many okay and how i can please everybody saying not saying big nose it could be like partial okay we'll give you 80% of this uh, kind of so uh, it's like a win win situation so i would say uh, the challenge i was into this service for longer time then i shifted into the product so the bigger uh, bigger uh, bigger thing i notice is the mindset mm-hmm. when you when you deal with when you deal with a software uh, for a service based it's more like uh, a customer is king. yes uh, i am here for you uh, to do anything for you okay but when you go to product it's like uh, uh, yes still the customer is king but we are saying we have a beautiful options that will uh, cost you less why do you go for a uh, um, custom unique options uh, we have a better we have a better option for you uh, we want to try it and it's readily available again we are into the agile world right so uh, service based we say like okay we collect your requirement wait for a year we'll give you but if it is a product you give us a requirement we'll give you in a week mm-hmm. uh, so do you want to compromise for that uh, at 20% if you apply the 80 20 the customer would be happy right so and mm-hmm. if if he grow with that and wants to have a specific things and he is very much particular about that specific uh, uh, thing and he is ready to pay for it then probably we can think about like a customized version of that product right the the limited edition version i mean probably that's mm-hmm. how the uh, the uh, the cars and all coming up right so mm-hmm. yeah so i would say like product and services uh, almost same only thing when you think when you you can add couple of questions on top of the service then you will become a product mm-hmm. what happens if uh, 10 more customers come or what happens if uh, people have need demand little more tweaks or uh, and obviously there is a complication right for example uh, the, the example that i got if kumaran and deepak purchase the online store from my side just like amazon and flipkart okay if i go to amazon and if i go to flipkart if the look and feel the website looks like same then people doubt it right it's like so i even though i build a product which is customer facing like a web- website then i should be able to bring that uniqueness the same product should look like completely differently if it is a b2b meaning uh, the the back end stuff where the only the limited people administrative people can go in it's it's okay like same same user interfaces for multiple people because only very few people are going to see that that's fine but when you build a product especially for user the end user uh, facing then you need to be very very uh, cautious and should be able to give that differentiation so i think uh, when people think about the reusability repeatability profitability uh, then automatically will change from the service to uh, product right. so that's the snapshot as i was listening to uh, different right i i just uh, i'm mean, i want to do a quick poll kind of a thing with uh all of you here okay so um I-, i want to give you two scenarios okay so one is uh when we when you go into uh amazon right uh, the typical thing is you see the list of products coming in right and you can filter it okay 
uh, so that is let's say that's the uh, uh, the end user can actually cater it. Okay. Let let me like, let me twist it a little bit let me twist it a little bit is mm -hmm. amazon a product once again wait, 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 wait. no 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 don't <laughs> don't don't muddle my thing here okay you keep that separate there's a particular thing i am going okay okay uh, and uh, i think the three of you have been using my application also right you do a journal either it is a btg journal or a cqa journal where you enter things and you submit it okay so journaling your experience okay so there is a way in which you can go go to that screen and submit a journal okay so that's how you've told that you have done it okay so i think nitin shiva and jiffin all three have been doing this i think nitin and shiva are doing for the past two three days correct uh so my question is <coughs> this thing right seeing the catalog okay and doing the journal is that a feature or is it a product so you have to pick one so catalog seeing the keys is that a feature or is that a product Next start, with Shiva. start with jiffin <laughs> jiffin has been there okay yeah jiffin catalog uh, i would say definitely uh, if if i concentrate on catalog i can make the catalog as a product and sell it Anybody currently if you, you had to catalog, call it so. if you call that you or your team will they call that a feature or will they call it a product it's a feature it's a feature okay sure yeah or, or yeah. more like yeah it's a it's a feature in the uh, the particular project yes. and same thing i think would go for the journal also submitting the journal it's a feature of my application Ah oh, yes. For my side, it is feature. For your side, it is a product. Maybe no, you may consider. No, even my technical team will call it a feature. That is the point I am trying to get, and that is the mindset shift that we need to get get out, get out of, which I am learning. The difference between so even though service and everything comes different, okay. The key thing is about. it is a use case as a end customer i want to see a list of products i have a journal which is completed okay jiffin have you used magic years the other app played around with it uh, no <coughs> okay no. magic years is another application where you can actually practice attention okay so that is a different kind of a journal now here all of you are aware you go to that you will actually enter two text boxes and enter right magic years is another application you can actually go to the play store and download it if you want let me know it will it helps you build attention if for you for your children it will be useful so in that case the journal is very different how long did you practice it did you do it well or not the application will measure attention and do it okay but if you look at it i just want to add comment i mean it's about it's about product or feature feature it's a common to product and uh, it's more like a service based project or product so feature i'm telling okay so see. i agree it looks very murky right so i am telling that feature if we look at it as a feature okay or we think about it like a feature it shifts our thinking now why i am getting to this is the ability to journal right okay somebody has done something they have to journal it okay that is the use case Fun that's the functional need okay somebody wants to look at the list of products now if i look at it as a feature right now i can look at it as a feature as a part of a product or i can look at it as a feature as a, as a part of a project which i have to deliver it is a feature in an application there is an issue there but if i start looking at catalog is a product by itself what all will we do differently is the interesting thing now i will not answer this question without knowing anything if you had to answer the question cataloging is a product what will we do differently 
so nitin shiva whatever comes to your mind right if i told that catalog is a product what will you do differently what is the first thing that you will do differently that comes to your mind anything that comes to your mind to me how i package it is the first thing how am i going to package that functionality how am i going to make sure that it is easy to use now in this case there are two kinds of users one the developer who is going to use it and the end user who is going to use it i'm thinking of two users okay third is for the developer to use it i need to have good documentation easy deployability easy reuse now when i'm thinking of a feature i'm thinking of none of these things so in fact that's one of the discussions we had in our first session of what is a micro product versus a product i'm telling it's pretty much nothing different right it is like at a feature level if i start thinking these things then it becomes a micro product and now a services can be made into a micro product yes it requires a little bit additional effort in thinking designing everything but then there is no need for something to be a service everything can be a micro product by i in fact i would say in today's world there is really no difference between a service and a product like office 365 is it a service or a product i don't know whatever we do in tiny magic is it a product or a service it is we don't know because the things are merging uber is it a product or a service so today worlds are collapsing that it is very hard to say i'm telling from a business perspective forget it services for a moment okay are we delivering a service or a product i don't think the differentiation is so clear to say oh this is product this is services windows 11 is it a service or a product god only knows i don't think i don't even satya knows satya himself knows whether it's a product or a service <laughs> no in fact in fact uh, there is the whole concept called windows as a service right so so that is that is what windows 10 was 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 yeah so uh, you know what uh, microsoft is not a product company mate it's a right? services company exactly so i i think what jiffin touched upon is is important right okay. which is i am setting is, the cat among see i think yes. this is what we do we're not trying to get to a definitive answer because there is no definitive answer it is and, just yeah. challenging ourselves to just expand and think more yeah, yeah. and i think what jiffin said was very important is that it's a mindset right it's a that you can run the service with a product mindset also right that when you are considering developing a product are you developing it like the the old world of uh, getting requirements for one customer building it for one customer satisfying one customer versus building it for the world right this is okay anybody should be able to use this product as this service then it becomes a product right which which let's say office 365 is a service but anybody can use it it's 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 not written for any specific person right so it's not coded for one specific person so it's a product in that sense right but it runs as a service because people who are running it at the back end they have to run it like a service uber right uber anybody can use uber right now the, when they are creating that product right so from their perspective they are creating a product but they have to run it like a service right so so i think that the important distinction which jiffin made which i think uh, is a good distinction made is are you making it for just one person right for example uh, i i hire an electrician right electrician is a skill right and he is providing a skilled service to me right electrician is not a product right he will come he will perform some activity which is part of his service and will go away right that is the kind of a, a, a service now is can i call electrician as a product not really because he could do any possible thing as a, as a, as a delivery example right but if i want to buy a car right a car is definitely a product right uh and it the people who are building it is also they are building a product but to maintain the product there is a whole big service background to it right in there is a whole set of services which come with that product and their people are making uh, means now if i say i bought a product which is a car now the car service center is it a product or is it a service is definitely a service because 
they just exist and you just bring in there and you service the car right so i think that is the subtle differences which i'm i am beginning to sort of see it's a kind of interesting you gave the electrician metaphor right yeah. now if i take the electrician metaphor itself right he is offering a service of fixing something in my house okay yeah. but i would say in a way i can argue the other way okay he is actually a product okay that product right like let's say gulab jamun is a product okay i can use it before food after food for entertainment mm -hmm. or to make my kid yeah. child stop crying right okay it is still a product i am using it in different scenarios but it is still the product because because it is a product only i can use it in different scenarios no i i'll slightly build on that metaphor you see gulab jamun on its own does only one thing it is sweet and it can be eaten right right that is the feature of that product correct right now you use it for different things electrician doesn't come with that that kind no, of no. feature so okay right? so i would say so if i say with fixed set of features no if i designed gulab jamun such mm -hmm. that it can only be eaten after lunch that okay. can be a feature or of the if i said it you know this is it can only be eaten after lunch i decide it like yeah. such that this gulab jamun will be designed to be i have some logic okay yeah. you can only eat it after 9 in the night Uh -huh. Okay, I designed the product like that because the first customer said, "My wedding is happening at nine in the night, and I want gulab jamun." Okay, mm -hmm. so I designed it to say, "After nine in the night, you can eat gulab jamun." Mm -hmm. Okay, right. then it is probably becomes very grey whether it is a product or not. It Now is, it is definitely a product. I'll tell you why. Right? It's no, no, one second, one second. Wait, wait, wait. if it is done nine then it is a product for all the people who want to eat it in a wedding after nine but it is definitely not usable for a child when it is crying or when i feel like eating okay similarly electrician if he is learning a skill to work in flat b ramanujam street in my plug point here he is learning a skill okay mm. then it would be a service which is he can only do that here in my house in my bedroom he can learn something then that would be a service but if he is learning a skill which he can use with any customer okay that is a feature in his product as an electrician i i would uh, argue that, against that yeah, yeah jifin you say uh thanks dilip i mean uh, just a point to add uh service is a kind of okay before going no, to service and, and like also the reason right product. i think just and, for and other the product for right no and, nitin and shiva the reason why is we keep challenging ourselves right if there is one point of view everybody agrees right there is really no enrichment in that space so that's the reason we keep challenging each other right okay if you say that's a perspective no there's completely another perspective now deal with it that's so we can yeah. actually evolve better so yeah go ahead jason yeah you, uh, product I'm telling this so that you don't get confused they they are telling this this is telling where are we trying to head in this the idea is to make the space richer with perspectives and knowledge because there's really no right or wrong answer sorry jason go yeah. ahead uh, uh, see whenever we buy something uh, uh, from the market right for example i i bought a water purifier okay or i about something like tv so there is an uh, uh, there is a uh, amc associated with it right? the product is associated with a maintenance correct okay uh, uh, so the it's not like i build something and uh, those who want i am going to give the same copy okay it's more like i should be able to maintain how long i can support this the product need to be powered by support right if i want to support for 5 years if i my product is sold to all of you then every year there would be bug fixes maintenance and other parts right so Correct. maintainability is a headache so product we would say like i build a, i did a project then i take a copy of it and giving uh, to many but the maintainability definitely will fail so uh, we cannot simply give the copy just saying that i have a copy i mean for example at the gulab jam 9 o'clock Uh, I can uh, sell it to anybody who wants after nine. No, the the if unless otherwise we 
configured or we planned it for that maintainability aspects uh, it will fail it's okay. an interesting difference yeah. that's one question with that also right that's i think with devops it's changing a little bit i still don't see it changing drastically the development team do they really think about how the guy let's say the same company is going to do maintenance of that project do they really care about and consider the maintenance operation team was that even happening i it was not about the same team it's a, it's not about the same team or different team it's about see and come i'm just putting a pause okay agile agile says uh getting a frequent feedback from the market and make changes so product i'm i'm buying a car by thinking i would drive it for at least 10 years so i'm buying a product by thinking i would use at least 5 years okay so definitely every uh, every every 6 months i would have set of requirements if i solve my product and after 6 months or every cycle i'm saying i cannot make this change because my product is not compatible then But from a end project, customer perspective jifin that is applicable hmm. even for a project right if you got no, a house project, project i would say i will make any any fixes or any enhancement because that's a that is main meant for only one person one client for example i agree I, I, but i'm telling uh, from a end customer perspective let's say i bought a car i'm customer okay forget the provider let, customer let me, wise let me, put, I understand. let me put this example i i assume like i i build a software for icic bank okay okay that's a project now hdfc asked me the something similar i just uh, renamed it and relabeled it and gave it assume okay now, let uh, let uh, one second one second I, let let me the same and metaphor i will take the cio role of hdfc bank okay so you gave a software okay. and gave it to me right okay. okay now i want it even though you made it as you made it as a project to me okay i want to have minimal maintenance i don't want coming back to you and say give this change give this change do this that uh... as as a ceo when you sign the contract when you sign the deal you will say this but after 6 months for example if modi ji said link all the bank account with aadhar i'll stop creating bank account you will come and ask me for this okay Correct. if i say yeah. uh, sorry boss i even you give the money i cannot make the change in aadhar linking are you going to use it no right you have to switch the software correct yeah correct yes so when you buy a product you should get an uh, you should get an uh, an agreement that any legal obligation so or any mandatory updates must be served otherwise even i give you free you won't use it agreed good point okay yeah. nitin you can but, drop off thanks yeah so uh, okay. but for the project it's not like i signed a deal with uh, you as a ceo that's a in in individual unique project right Mm-hmm. so whatever Correct. you say i have to build it ah okay that's a difference mm. okay so product means i cannot product used to say no to many requirement because my it will affect my maintainability since okay. you are charging me very less you have to get adjusted with it ah okay, okay. if you demand more then i'll switch to my project mode i'll take a copy of my product and i will do it for you that's a customization only for you that i will charge more okay so okay. the demand uh, i mean the capability of buying is kind of a control when the project and uh, product it's like a limited edition model right if you want a limited edition you pay more okay and i will uh, complete I, I think, work I think, for you i think uh, i think as a product manager i think jiffin's view is very clear on what actually is a product right? and, and i think i really appreciate that and i think what uh what you said kumaran was that there is this is not going to be uh not going to be very uh very clear to to lots of people that whether this no, is really actually service. i am kind of pushing the envelope even further i am telling even project teams need to develop product mindset it is not an option mm-hmm it is not optional hey you know what i am doing services product i don't need to have product mindset i am telling no you also should have my product but 
you will have a micro product mindset that is a difference mm-hmm. so if i'm saying cataloging different you, i think we had login functionality right now login functionality why is it project specific it is a micro product approach right it it is like click deploy my application has got it now it why aren't we reusing it because it's harder to reuse documentation is not there right it is not available for the framework for the thing that i'm doing so the end user's life has been made miserable so the next project is again doing what is the length of the screen is it a email variable or two factor authentication every single project you will design and do a login screen so basically a library is an example of a product micro product you know, let's be yeah, very i'm tired like because people have this notion that product has to be big a lot of features like that so i'm kind of introducing that thing i mean i'm not introducing it i learned it from a a, a person called dorai todla i've seen him use the word first right mm-hmm. i think made he kind of uh okay i'm grateful to him for having introduced that and i think now i don't see any reason where a project team should not, not think micro products now you think micro products even for a project it is going to be beneficial it is going to be beneficial for the developer for the person maintaining the code for the person operating it and for the customer right so i think i think uh, this is this is a good time to conclude the discussion for the for this 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 session so i'll just summarize so so i think there is there is still uh, going to be this debate which is going on what is a product and a service so we try to define it in in some ways and what we also concluded was that there is a mindset and which is which can be applied to services right and which is which can be applied to architecture in general which is how do you design your software how do you how do you build the architecture if you follow the product centric approach there are benefits associated with it right which is what kumar and you explained as library as a micro product right so if you if if the people who are developing the software they start thinking of whatever they are producing as micro products and apply that approach they can make it reusable they can they can uh, make it uh, since in the previous session we were discussing log4j if that micro product approach was there maybe i can replace that product with some other product right so so that so that whole that also comes to the whole micro services all of these uh, things which are like compo- ultimately it is like a component system right so if you can build your architecture and your software in in components which are easily interchangeable right and can be replaced and good thing with software is you can do those things much more quickly than in the mechanical world right where if you have to replace a car part it, it takes effort right so but in the and you cannot change it for thousands of uh, people in the software world you just have to release an update and it will go go to the world so thank you everyone for contributing to this discussion and keep listening to us and if you want to participate in this in this discussion reach out to us on linkedin or facebook uh, we are uh, we are available and we'll happy to we'll be happy to listen to you and uh, make you part of our discussions thank you and see you next time